um, just because it's use, actually useful to know, let's talk about operation with zero and one real quick. Um, so operation with zero and one, um, let's suppose that we have like this. So we have the following property, a plus zero is actually equal to a, a plus one is actually equal to one, a times zero is actually equal to zero, and a times one is actually equal to a. I know that those make sense, and um, we actually list them when I've been talking about all the operations and uh, the Boolean algebra, but I see what it means um, at a circuit level. Uh, so this one, the first one, what it means is that if I get um, an OR gate like this, uh, with the output where the output is y um, and the input is a uh, and the other one is zero then this or gate is always um, gonna give me a as an output um, so it really depends from the value of a uh, the second one a plus one equal one it basically means that I still have this um, or gate like so, with the output y, uh, the input a, and the other one is one. Uh, so it doesn't really matter, since it's an OR gate, it doesn't really matter the value of a, uh, the output is always gonna be one. This one, however, um, a times zero equals zero, uh, and a times one equal uh, a, basically means that if we have an AND gate, like so where we have a and zero um, then the output y well is always going to be zero because you know they all they both have to be um, one in order for the output to be one so if they're you know at least one of them is zero then the output is going to be zero always going to be zero and this one um, basically means that uh, if we have the output y, uh, and we have two inputs, one is a, the other one is one, um, then the output is always going to be uh, a, because if, if a is zero, then it's going to be zero, if a is one, that's going to be one, because it's an end gate. Uh, now, this is actually particularly useful, because uh, those two properties, uh, because you can use them to have a an enable line. So for instance, if we still have uh, those two inputs, uh, but A, instead of calling it A, we are gonna call this data, and uh, instead of calling this zero or one, we're gonna call this enable. So we have two inputs, one is data, the other is enable, okay? So two lines that go to a NAND gate. Um, which here has the y, which is the output. Now, if the enable line um, is actually zero, um, then the output is gonna be zero. If the enable line is one, then the output is gonna be, uh, is gonna follow the data. So if the enable line is zero, the output is zero. If the enable line is one, then the output is gonna follow the data. Um, and this is particularly useful because we may wanna have circuits that um, actually have an enable line. So uh, this property here, uh, this, those two last properties here are particularly useful for this very reason. And I'm gonna go through uh, in the next few videos um, uh, through other particular properties, which I've already been talking about, but I'm gonna go through them um, again uh, in uh, just to show you the uh, implementation at the circuit level. Uh, again, um, I switch back to a high level of abstraction for you know to, just to make things easier.